Hello and welcome to the Protocile. This is a video about punch recording in Cakewalk. Punch recording helps you record just a little sliver of a section that you want to re-record for whatever reason. It's very easy. I was intimidated by it for no reason. Maybe just because it sounded slightly violent. You could see it in some of my live videos like where I was like, wow, I sure wish I knew how to punch record because that would make this easier. But instead I made things harder for myself by like setting up multiple tracks so I wouldn't record over the good parts and then I'd cut it in. Anyway, punch recording in Cakewalk is ridiculously simple and here's uh, me showing you how to do it because I just learned. I have recorded a thing and now I want to punch in the parts that that aren't sounding so good. How long is forever? I can't seem to recall. Good so far. Day longer than never. Nobody's right at all. Starting right there, probably. Only the a little sloppy. Dream of falling again and again. I like that a lot. So. Falling again and again. So I want to keep that. All right. So that's like my end point, and like a little mark with an M. Just hit M for mark. Just end punch. Where was it sounding like a little off? Hmm? No, that isn't right. This no, that isn't right at all. So then I'll mark that as my uh, punch. And you don't have to set markers. It's just helpful for me. So up here, you see this little uh, box that says punch? Hit that uh, auto punch toggle so that it sets you up for punch in recording. And then hit the set punch points to selection. <clears throat> and this gives you, oh, right now the select, my selection is this green part, but that's not what we want. So this is where the markers come in. So I'm gonna just set that there, there, and that sets my punch in. So now I can rev up, I can breathe and get ready for this part that I want to punch in without recording over the other part. Arm this one for recording. I can hit record and it's not going to record over my other part. One day longer than never. I know that isn't right at all. It's life only this endless dream. Of all so you see how it did not record this part over that part that I liked and this part that I liked. So now I should be able to play it and it will have the new part. No, that isn't right at all. It's life only this endless dream. So we're going to do it again. I'm going to try it again. And it's nice that I'm not going to be recording over that part that I like. So I just needed to sing it with a little more gusto, a little more gutsiness. So let me do that again. One day longer than never. No, that isn't right at all. Let's try it again, and then we'll do a little comping. But this is punch in recording. You see how it's not it's not hard. One day longer than never. No, that isn't right at all. His life only this endless dream of falling again. Okay, so now. I can go in and comp. Do you see how that lined them up just in those in that one spot? Nice and neat. Punch recording. Punch recording is simple and this makes it easy for me to scooch it and to comp together the best bits, which that's uh, I did a, a comping video uh, in another video. But anyway, I hope that's helpful for you. It, it's really helpful for me and it's not that hard. So let me know if this helped. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. And until next time, bye for now.